Hello everybody, welcome to a new game, one that's, uh, it looks pretty awesome in my opinion, because <laughs> it's King's Quest and I always liked the King's Quest series. I actually have been wanting to do a, uh, a playthrough of the, um, the AGDI remakes of the King's Quest series. Because they did remake the first three. Um, I would love to do a series on that. And I might. But uh, for now, we'll stick to this, which is a brand new game. The Odd Gentleman made this. Controls are pretty smooth, it seems. Let's see. Make our way over this way. Spacebar. Well, that's a well. Let's try pulling the crank over here. That's interesting. I've seen this game done with like a controller before. Oh, tab is my inventory. Interesting. But I couldn't uh, figure out the controller setup. That's alright. Mouse and keyboard is the way that you play games such as this. I have not been back to him in years. But it was the last place left to look. Christopher Lee, everyone. I think it's Christopher Lee. I can't remember if it's Christopher Lee or Christopher Lloyd. They both sound Those lost wishes the same. Weren't the treasure <laughs> I was after. Of course they weren't. Well, that happened. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a teeny tiny little door. It's, uh, what's in here, I wonder? It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. <laughs> Not all that different either. Actually, I would say it's quite a bit different from uh, before, because uh, I definitely don't remember that in Quest in King's Quest One. Oh, cool! That just like auto jumps for you. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, apparently um, all of the textures in this game are like hand painted so that's uh pretty interesting in my opinion too odd for traps and discarded the lost treasure i would have to turn one and see what happened hmm the left one or the right one let's check out the left one first Oi! And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know the right one. Right the right one. <laughs> yep. So I guess the idea behind this game is that you are an elderly King Graham telling the uh, story to your granddaughter. Which is kind of interesting. It makes for a much different take on the series. For certain. Instead of just like playing it from beginning to end. And you're hearing it from uh Grimms. Butter churns and beds were jammed in every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Also beds, apparently. Random beds. 
Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Wind. Oh boy. This yes, is uh. a slumbering pile of teeth. The claws was Fable Mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, it's dragons dragon. are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry. On a quest to return his stolen mirror. Hawk slowly, Gigantic, Graham. hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to. in my way to. <laughs> my way to. add a shinier hat to my collection. Yep. Interestingly enough, in the original King's Quest 1, you actually had to collect three magical items. The, uh, the mirror was only one of them, but it looks like their main focus was on the mirror this, in this one. Which is kind of interesting. It's a little sad, I would have liked to have seen the uh, other two, the collecting of the other two treasures as well, but... I mean, what can you do? I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What is down here, I wonder? I feel like I have nothing to say, which is kind of sad. <laughs> I feel like there should be something to say, but I'm not sure. Volumes of old books. With foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, <laughs> breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your <laughs> friends with. <laughs> Old books about covering missing handles, though. <laughs> cute references. Very cute references. There's a bed here. Don't seem to have anything I can do around here. Kind of just like glitching here. Whoa! <laughs> Your crab's got a little bit of a problem there. That's for sure. Uh, I can't walk any further there. This looks like the uh, the missing handle though. So I guess we'll pull it with the spacebar. It is very much connected to that bell though. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> I if I just pulled it right out of there. I used my cleverness to hide. Heading. That's a big dragon. It's also a one-eyed dragon. Luckily that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. They definitely picked a good person to do the voice for uh, elderly King Graham. But it was missing Oops. a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What I have to actually go into my inventory. What did you use? 
and then hit the space bar in the inventory to activate the thing. There we go. Whoops. That was kind of loud. Seriously? How did that not wake the dragon when the bell awoke the dragon? The dragon's chains oh, were coiled on a awake. gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. That's why. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Oops. Making my way slowly. Oh, that poor dragon. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too. If Amira was my only friend. Now, I can climb down here with the space bar. Well, oh boy! Oh, I seem to have found the dragon. Oh shoot! That's after I was impaled by that spiky bed. I took a nap and decided the magic mirror could wait another evening before being rescued. Grandpa. Well, I thought maybe it was your bedtime. Well, I can continue. <laughs> nice. The, I love Sierra games because they always have like some of the best death scenes. They really do. There's one of my favorite parts about Sierra games. The death scenes are generally classic. I don't know how well I uh, portrayed that when I was doing Quest for Glory 1. I'm not sure how many of the, uh, the death scenes I hit. Yay, we may have passed that obstacle. Now, is there a way around this? Nope. Run to the bed. I doubt he even needed to uh, hide under the covers. Alright, so let's... Oh, shoot. Let's uh, not do that, please. <laughs> that was close. Actually, I wonder what happens if you, uh, if the uh, dragon spots you here. I mean, obviously you probably die, but I mean, it's like what kind of death scene do we get? Oh! Wait a minute. Does this mean our family's immortal? <laughs> wow. So as like I said, Sierra games always have some of the uh, the best death scenes. The ones in King's Quest and Quest for Glory are always some of the best. I'll definitely have to do a series on the um, the AGDI. Um, King's Quest remakes. Probably, they actually have all. Well, I have all eight of the King's Quest games, but only seven of them work. For some reason, I can't get the last one, Mask of Eternity, to work. It just crashes. But I could do a series on the other seven, so could be fun.
I wonder what happens if we uh, step up here to the uh, the dragon. Let's just walk up to the dragon and take the mirror. Hi. <laughs> Welp. March right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still paying attention. <laughs> Achievement unlocked in the mouth of danger. Nice. Very nice. I notice the steam achievements though don't show up in the uh, the recording. I just saw that as uh, the achievement popped up. I'll have to see, I think the open broadcasting software that I'm using has some way to um, do uh, showcase window overlays. I just don't have it currently set up to do that. So, I'll have to uh, look into that at the end of this recording. That way, you know, in case we get more achievements along the way, you guys can see the achievements. Because, sure, why not? Achievements are fun to take note of. Alright, let's go up the ladder this time. And let's see what's up here. Oop. Never designed this trap. Thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unbreachable switch. Let's see. Well, you know, there's always something around these places. Like a bow. Just had to grab the uh, the bow from uh, Mr. Skellington here. <laughs> yes. So I can move the camera or move the uh, thing around like this, and spacebar shoots it. That's cool. Boom. Nice. Surprised that didn't wake the dragon. What's with all the beds and mattresses and stuff? I mean, I suppose it's a Sierra game, so it's gonna have that sort of comical feel to it with random things being the, uh, the items that you have to use. <laughs> the mirror called out to me. There's the mirror. So what do we have around here? Looks like we have a ladder. We can climb up here too. Whoop, just fell down. And we have this thing. Ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Feeding contraption, huh? Alrighty. This will probably wake the dragon. But the meat that's there should interest it. But really though, how old is that meat? Alright then. I think I can get down from there. I just don't know that I want to end up there. Whoops. Ow. Okay, that works. So the dragon should go over there this time. Yay! 
the dragons away. So let's real quick hit the contraption and make our way up. And we should be able to ride it right down to the mirror while the dragon is gorging itself on meat. Sweet. Yay! The magic mirror of Devontry that foretells the future. Wait! Uh. That hammer space, uh. Wait. Oh boy, we're running. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Whoa! Well, that was fun. Oh boy. Nice. That was a great shot. Hurry! Shoot it! I didn't get it shot. Can you put my mouthwash back on the shelf, please? Now, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> he said to stop telling the story to wash out his mouth. <laughs> and that's why we died. That's hilarious. Alright, well, I think that's a good spot to end this episode. If you've been enjoying, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to leave a like. Check out uh, my Patreon. And uh, I'll see everybody in the next episode of King's Quest. Keep calm and punny on, everybody.